Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. People are frustrated and people have made complaints that police aren't doing their jobs. We're still offering these people an opportunity to leave without enforcement. And if they oh. refuse to, and they continue to commit the offense, our only option then is to go into enforcement. Commit, me, commit the offense of embracing their charter rights. Really, officer? Really? Again, charter rights, section one of the charter. Please look it up. You have to read the first chapter of the book before you go to the second chapter. Chapter one. Yeah. Said these are limited. I'm sorry. And I don't. I, I don't need an armed police officer lecturing me on charter rights when you're about to shut down a peaceful protest. I'm just explaining to you what how a provincial law supersedes section two of the charter. So right now, section one of the charter says you can be out. It's a stay-at-home order, and you can be out for these certain purposes. They do not fall within those certain purposes, so technically they shouldn't be out and they're in contravention of a provincial law. Good day. Good day. How are you doing there, officer? I'm well. How are you? Good. Tell me, are you going to um, physically manhandle me like you did in January 2020 when I was trying to cover Rogers' hometown hockey? Do you remember that? Hey, Ron, how are you doing? Great, how are you doing? Good, sir. I'm just wondering, how do you feel about the ratings for Hockey Night in Canada plummeting? No, no, uh, sir, excuse no, me. No, 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 sir. Yeah, my wife. No, 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 uh, since Don Cherry uh, was fired. I wouldn't know, sir. Yeah. Huh? Excuse me. Sir, I'm, not, I'm in a public no, place. No, 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 Ron, why did you throw Ron under the bus? Me. I'm in a public place. What are you? Leave Ron alone, you're you're not. Not. Hey, do not hit me. Do it. You just hit me. Hi, you just hit me. I'm trying to get around you. You're holding back. I'm trying to do my job. No, you're not trying to do your job. You're trying I'm to in a public with... place. Officer. Yes, you, you're not allowed to hit me like that. I didn't hit you. I got it on camera. Okay. Perfect. Are you guys kidding me? It's called me? criminal harassment. This That's is what assault. It is. It's called criminal harassment. It's a... is what you're doing. So I'm practicing I'm journalism. To stop. This is not journalism. Do you have a journalism pass to be here? Huh? Yes, I do. I have press credentials. No, you don't. Yeah. See, that's a lie. I'm in a public place. What is this? Are you guys kidding me? No, we're not. No, no, no. This is a private event. I'm on a public street off. You're right. That's a private event. He has a private sector here. This is incredible, folks. I got three York Regional Cops. You can Sorry. Some event because we don't want it out there. Are you kidding? Stop, stop, stop. Are you kidding me? No, we're not kidding you. Huh? We're not kidding you. This is forcible confinement. No, it's not forcible no, it's not. confinement. It is. You're holding me back. I'm on a public street. You were in his face. You're not allowed to be in his face. That's harassment. This is called freedom of the press, officer. You were in his face. He didn't want you to be there. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. It's in, listen. Excuse me. We're, we are under Make go, from go the microphone. What's your problem now? I don't have a problem. Huh? We're just trying to stop him. We don't have the problem. The what? problem lies with you, right? Why? Listen, I'm not talking into your microphone. I can do that. Listen, listen, you can sit there and film me, but you can't shove the microphone in my face. Okay, then I'll be on my way. No, you won't. Not in here. Are you kidding me? yourself into it. I don't recall it because I wasn't involved in that incident. Obviously, I wasn't involved in that incident, so no. Well, we, we have a $50,000 lawsuit against you guys um, because we were on a sidewalk asking i guess impolite questions of ron mclean and i was physically shut down are you going to do that to these people here today too no that's okay, not our plan that's good to, well, what are you here for right now we're here to enforce first we're here to provide an education piece about the reopening ontario act we're the reopening ontario act it looks pretty closed to me right now okay well there's an act in place right now that's a law okay and we're here to advise these people that they do have charter rights they can express themselves okay they express themselves through the charter uh by means social networking or social media uh if they're out with one of the allowed activities like going for a walk exercising by all means they're allowed to express their opinions under section two of the charter however Section 1 of the Charter states that their uh, charter rights can be limited by law. And right now there is a law in place. The law in place is a stay-at-home order that says that these people can come out for, uh, what's the, for necessary trips, like to the doctor, to the drugstore, to the grocery store. If they're out here for the sole purpose to protest, that does not fall within those uh, reasonable exemptions. Oh, really? And here to stay at home. 
Because I want to see how that's challenged in court, officer. These people are exercising freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of peaceful protest outdoors. And you're telling me this is a super spreader event. And meanwhile, there are more people in that liquor store indoors. How do you square that? How do you make sense of the science in this, officer? I didn't say what you said. I said, I said I'm here to enforce the Reopening Ontario Act. Yeah. And right now, this is not a necessary trip to be out here to, to protest. Folks, I interrupt this video for a very urgent message. You know it's only a matter of time before the Silicon Valley tech giants come and crush Rebel News, or at least try to crush Rebel News once and for all. We're not going to let that happen. Please go to rebelnews.com. That's rebelnews.com. We need you to sign up with us there on our website. We need your phone number. We need your email address. We do not share your personal information with anyone else. But if we can get that information from you, you can maintain your relationship with Rebel News going forward in the future. So people embracing their charter rights, this is a problem and people buying whiskey is not a problem indoors. Can you explain that to me? Where is the science there? Well, first of all, if we're going to bring up charter rights, let's talk about Section 1 of the Charter. Are you aware of Section 1? Yeah, no, I, I, the, what you're enforcing here is going to be challenged in a court of law, and I think it's going to be struck down. And that, that is the proper process to go through, is okay. through our courts. And our laws it go through legislation and our uh, political parties that make the laws. As a police officer, we're here to enforce the laws. Okay. Correct? Uh, and it's where basically our response here is because people are frustrated. We have come out here with an education piece to start. People are frustrated and people have made complaints that police aren't doing their jobs. We're still offering these people an opportunity to leave without enforcement. And if they oh. refuse to and they continue to commit the offense, our only option then is to go into enforcement. C commit, me... commit the offense of embracing their charter rights. Really, officer? Really? Again. Charter rights, section one of the charter, please look it up. You have to read the first chapter of the book before you go to the second chapter. Chapter one, chapter so one yeah. said these are limited. I'm sorry, I don't, I, I don't need an armed police officer lecturing me on charter rights when you're about to shut down a peaceful protest. And there are more people, like I said, indoors in a liquor control board of Ontario store. And that's okay by you. But this somehow is some sort of super spreader event. Again, Again, where is this? Okay. Again, I haven't said that. And the, the stores are limited to capacity. And if they yeah. were over top of their capacity, then we'd go in and we'd have enforcement in that as well. Well, really, because we have uh, video evidence of the LCBO breaking their own office capacity rules, of uh, capacity of two, but there was four people in there. We have a potential super spreader event here at the LCBO. It clearly says two. There was more than two people in that office. They had four people in at one point. Right now, I'm dealing with a, with a private property concern yes. that they don't want you here. Well, most laws are, uh, especially on the provincial side, is a fines committing offense. If I was witness to that, then I'd be an enforcement be Please turn that and around. Again, I don't consent to our role here, myself and my partner, our demonstration liaison no right officers, on our ridiculous. role here is not we to do, do not enforcement. Consent. Turn and our around. role here is not to provide evidence. Turn our role here is to liaise with these people, advise them of their charter rights, specifically ch Section 1, and the laws of the land right now, and offer them the opportunity to walk away. Are you going to be ticketing them? Myself? No, I myself, I'm not going to be ticketing them. Uh, will your colleagues be ticketing them? I will say that an enforcement piece will follow if they choose to disregard the laws that we're explaining to them. So you know, officer, there, right now there are 19 active and retired police officers being represented by Rocco Galati challenging these enforcement measures, that this is not what they signed up. One of them, by the way, is a York Regional uh, police officer himself. Chris, I'm sure you're aware of that. Is this what you signed up for? On good conscience, can you go home at night and with the thought that these law-abiding people have been ticketed and charged for embracing their constitutional rights or are you just uh, as the saying goes following orders no i'm not following orders i am uh, uh, upholding my oath are you really? you're breaking your oath officer are you really? the section as i said charter rights and freedoms section one of the charter limits people's rights we can't be in a society where we pick and choose what laws we want to file 
yeah. which which we which laws we want to follow. And then if we ignore the processes as well, that's what you're doing. Uh, failing to identify, so uh, this can't be challenged in course. That puts the whole system in disrepute. Well, but they are things are being picked and choosed. I mean, when it comes to what's essential and what isn't, I mean, I think embracing your charter rights that is essential you seem to think that having a liquor store selling hooch is not i mean it, it, it's it, it's Again, incredible i'm not i'm not making the laws i'm enforcing the laws that are there that are made within a free and democratic society which are politicians voted from all aspects or all political parties have voted on in past i think aside from randy hillier yeah. so uh if you want to talk about free and democratic, our charter rights and freedoms are for everybody. Mm. It's not just for these people, it's for all the people. It's for the 800 people that are in an ICU ward right now and their families. And people might disagree with these, children. right? So I'm saying that we're here to enforce the rights for everyone. Come on, officer, you know what the statistics are. 99.7% recovery rate, 83% of the deaths are elderly people in long-term care facilities. The chances of these people getting the virus and dying, they have a six times higher chance of getting killed by crossing Bathurst Street by a car hitting them. And these, these are, if these are uh, opinions, these are to be made to these are people. facts sir okay these are two there's also a fact that 40 percent of our icu beds are right now being taken up by people with covid so to me that's a if you're talking about when we've asked to see evidence of that samantha, dr samantha hill of the ontario medical association said for the people who are saying they don't believe it i invite you to take a tour of any of the covid wards in the hospitals i reached out to dr hill she rescinded her publicly uh, made mandate of that so i don't know 40 percent of icu but that's for you to research so i trust what our public health is putting out there and i'm saying as an as an officer i believe it's a reasonable law and i believe as far as the oaks test that it passes that it's reasonable and it's justified i'm not doing an enforcement piece i'm here just to advise people of their charter rights specifically charter uh, section one of the charter well you're telling them to subvert their charter rights and no, I'm, I'm, tell I'm, I'm telling them to protest in another way i'm telling them protest uh, through social media. You can reach out to people in ways that still uh, has you to, within the, the the guidelines that our public health has put forward, that our laws have put forward. They can still exercise their charter rights. Okay, well, I'm just do it legally. Yeah. Just like on private property, we're governed by the Trespass to Property Act. If these people were protesting, technically we are on private property right now. That's right. And a property owner said they don't want these people to protest here. Did the property owner say that? Go, we, no, I'm saying I'm speaking okay. hypothetically. But that is also provincial law in place. We would ask them to please protest on the sidewalk. If they refuse to leave, they don't. Their rights to protest are now null and void because they're on private property. But you have to be asked by the owner right. of the private right. property, right? But so he has an asset, right? right? And I, I'm speaking hypothetically. I'm just okay. explaining to you what, how a provincial law supersedes Section 2 of the Charter. So right now, Section 1 of the Charter says you can be out, it's a stay-at-home order, and you can be out for these certain purposes. They do not fall within those certain purposes, so technically they shouldn't be out, and they're in contravention of a provincial law. Well, officer, you do what you have to do. We're going to do what we have to do, which is to watch you guys. And unlike January 2020, when I was at the Rogers Hometown Hockey event, and a bunch of your censorious thugs colleagues manhandled me, beat me up in the under cloak of night uh, outside of a camera, except for my cell phone. That's not going to happen today. A lot of these patriots, they have their cameras. My cameraman Mocha here is filming you on two cameras. So if you want to get that way with me, if you want to incur another $50,000 lawsuit, be my guest, beat me up. As I told you, I'm here for education piece. Okay. I'm here to liaise and we're going to be doing enforcement right. through provincial offenses, which are tickets. Well, I'm educating you. If you're going to lay a hand on me, that's what you're going to face, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Hello, guys. How you doing? You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's only a matter of time before the big tech Silicon Valley giants try to crush Rebel News once and for all. We still want to stay in touch with you, however, and you can maintain that relationship by going to rebelnews.com. That's rebelnews.com. Go there so we can sign you up on different platforms.